Hey everybody, I'm sure some of you who have been watching my videos for many years now know that I love Windows Media Center. I was highly disappointed back when Microsoft announced that with Windows 10, Windows Media Center would no longer be a part of Windows. Now of course, Windows Media Center, if you didn't know, was a built-in full screen or windowed application that would pretty much turn your computer into a sort of set-top box. Um, you could use it to watch and record live TV shows with a TV tuner, and in later years you could install a cable card TV tuner and actually subscribe to digital cable and watch and record live digital cable TV with it. It also offers a really nice um, interface for playing back music, pictures, videos. It was, I would say, probably one of the best things back in the day when it came to multimedia on computers. Back in the mid-2000s, Microsoft really was interested in making your computer into your multimedia hub for your entertainment center. And if you purchase a Windows Media Center remote kit, which would include a little USB receiver you'll plug into your computer, and of course the Windows Media Center remote control, which I have a few around here somewhere. Such as this one right here. You could easily control your PC from the couch and have it hooked up to a large TV. And it was, it was great. So let's say, for example, you're really wanting to have Windows Media Center back. Now of course, Nowadays, it's not included when Windows 10 is not included with Windows 11, but we're going to attempt to install it on here. So, I've already downloaded the files, but what I'll do is I will include a link in the description to those files. So we have two different options. I'm going to extract these since I haven't done it yet. Okay, so it looks like I only extracted the blue, so we're just going to go ahead and work with the blue. We'll paste it here on the desktop, which I do have start all back installed on here. This is a clean installation of Windows 11 Pro 22H2 on the Windows 11 test rig, which does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class minimum system requirements for Windows 11, but it's running Windows 11 anyway. Okay, so. the way this works is you have to this is actually really similar to the installer that I used a long time ago on Windows 10 so I run this as administrator this is test rights we run this first and the way it works is when you see this command prompt pop up then that's a good sign All right, so what we're going to do is we will right click and run this as administrator. So you may have seen how there was a blue and a green option earlier. There was, um, so what this person did is they have they have custom skin versions of Media Center in addition to the regular blue Windows Media Center. All it all it really involves is changing the background in Windows Media Center, which is something I've actually done before in the past. Um, you can actually change the background, the image. So the background that's in Windows Media Center is actually an image, and you can actually change that. I've actually changed it on Windows 7 a few times in the past. Now, it's been a while since I've done it, so I don't exactly remember how I did it. But anyways, we can see that this has complete. We'll press the key to exit. And let's attempt to start Windows Media Center. Oh my gosh. Windows Media Center on Windows 11. Now, of course, there's no sound because... The test rig is now hooked up to speakers.
So yeah, guys, Windows Media Center. Now, if I go into settings here, should be able to see. It's been so dang long since I've been in Media Center. Let's see what the version is. So this is actually a um, a pull from Windows 8.1. So Windows Media Center was an option that you could purchase on Windows 8.1 Pro, and it was it was more or less an add-on pack. So the thing about the Windows 8.1 Windows Media Center is it's not quite as feature rich as the Windows 7 Media Center. There's a few things that aren't there. Like for example, I think one of those things is support for extenders. Now I've heard, now another thing I should mention, I've heard that um, support for cable card tuners on this Windows Media Center is very hit or miss because of course cable card, a lot of times there are um, of course, digital cable. There's DRM built into that, and it was it was it was a mess. Let's just be honest with you. Even on Windows Seven, it was a it was a mess because you had to install PlayReady, which was Microsoft's DRM client for Media Center, and it just it was really it was it wasn't the best experience overall. But this Media Center here will give you back. Um, the capability of playing back your pictures and videos, your music. You can set up a movie library. Oh my gosh, this is bringing back memories already. So I'm gonna probably end up going and installing this on all my other computers, or at least the TV computers. They run Windows 10 still, which this will this should install fine on Windows 10 too. Um, but the fact that we have Windows Media Center on Windows 11. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Windows Media Center on Windows 11. So anyways, that is how you can install Windows Media Center on Windows 11. And of course, as mentioned, the Windows 8.1 Media Center is kind of stripped down compared to, for example, compared to what you would have in Windows 7. But there you have it so anyways hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching well everybody that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like the video leave a comment subscribe to QQ channel and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts also I recommend following QQ company on Facebook a link is in the video description in addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.